Hi everybody, welcome to another video. This is the last video of my holiday wardrobe series. Today I will be reviewing the Seamwork Emmy Top. First of all, I must say this is my first time working with Seamwork Pattern Company and I had a very pleasant experience. I thought that the style of this top really fit my lifestyle. Very flowy, very breezy, but still stylish. And it is very vacation appropriate. So I chose this pattern to take on my Panama trip. The Emmy top is a very loose fitting top. It's pretty much a peasant top but with a modern spin. Fabric recommendations are your lightweight wovens. I made mine in a rust double gauze. The Seamwork Emmy pattern comes in sizes 0 to 26, a bust of 33 inches up to 54. Because it's a very loose pattern, to be honest, I don't even think you need to take the waist and hip into consideration because once you choose your bust measurements, it flares out, it gets gradually bigger as it goes down. So my measurements on a good day are 40, 32, 44. And according to the size chart, that would put me at size 12. Size 12 is designed for somebody with a 40 bust, a 32 waist, and a 42 hip. This top is slightly more of a crop style, so I wasn't too worried about those extra two inches on the hip. The finished gamut measurements for the size 12, the bust is 44 and a quarter inches, the waist is 45 and a quarter inches and the hip, in this case what they're calling the sweep, is 46 and 3 eighths inches. So it gets gradually bigger and there was more than enough room in this size for me. So the first plus of this pattern is that the size chart is spot on. Now, I would not have made any changes to this pattern in length, although I'm short waisted, the final length was working out really well for me. However, on the day when I was cutting this top, I actually had a garment with fabric glue drying on my cutting mat. I was using my smaller cutting mat on the dining room table instead. And the pattern piece was just a smidgen too long for the cutting mat. And like I told you all before in the previous holiday wardrobe videos, this top especially was a mad rush. I didn't feel like getting out my scissors and all that jazz. This fabric on my glass dining table I don't think that would have gone well. I think it would have slipped and slid all over the place and I can't bet if I had used scissors something was gonna go wrong. I really wanted to just use my cutting mat and rotary cutter and get everything cut out smoothly so I ended up shortening the pattern by one inch knowing that I'm short and it's gonna work out fine anyway. Next time I'm gonna add back that inch now that my big cutting mat is available again. So yeah, that was just a little funny story. I know it might seem crazy that I just didn't take my scissors out and cut it, but honestly, it was just easier to me to just hack off the one inch. So that's exactly what I did and it worked out fine. So the design of the Emmy has a notched V at the front and then there's elastic at the neckline and then you can use cording or ribbons or ties. That part is optional. And then the sleeves are gathered at the sleeve head and then you have elastic at the ends to make them nice and billowy. I love where the shoulders on this pattern hits me and I also love the gathers at the top of the sleeve head. I think that's really, really cute. And in this fabric, it just lays very nicely. In relation to the ties, now these ties are featured in some of the pattern photos but in the pattern, there were no instructions to make the ties or there weren't any mention of the ties really. They only give instructions for inserting a ribbon. So if a real true beginner wanted to make this top and they wanted the ties, that person would have to do a little bit of googling. But for me, I just used my bias binding maker and I made my ties and I just put two little knots at the end. So the pattern has a center front seam and that is so that you can apply this facing and that will finish the front and then you close it with hooks and eyes now i use less hooks and eyes than the pattern calls for one of the reasons was time so i only used three hooks and eyes and i spaced them at three quarter inch apart so i went completely different to what the pattern suggested overall this top was really easy and fun to sew i really really enjoyed sewing this i enjoyed seeing it come together and it's definitely a pattern I would recommend and also that I would sew again. 
my size called for one and a half yards so that is exactly how much i bought and i only had a little scrap left over so the fabric requirements were also on point the back of the pattern is pretty plain very very simple at the back all of the drama is at the neckline and the sleeves had two issues when I was making up this pattern. The first one is when I tried to print I use Adobe Acrobat Pro and it just absolutely refused to print in that program so I had to go back to my regular Adobe Reader and this is the first pattern I've ever had that problem with and it took a lot of hunting to figure out what was wrong because it would print half the page and then the other half would just come out blank. So I thought something was wrong with the pattern and then I thought something was wrong with the printer and then I kind of just figured it out on my own eventually. So that took a whole night trying to figure out and that also kept me back when I was already in a rush. Another thing is that the elastic yardage requirement says half yard. You definitely need more than half yard elastic. Half yard would only do the neck then you still have to do the sleeves. They either gave you the figure just for the sleeves or they gave you the figure just for the neck. But when you add all of this together, it's definitely more than half yard. And still for me, I only had half a yard of elastic in my stash at the time and the notions said half yard. So I thought it was fine, I didn't buy any extra. And I ended up having to cut some elastic in half and then I had to burn the end and it was just a hot mess just to get the correct amount for the neckline. And because I had to go through all of that drama, the elastic in the neckline is not as tight as I would like it to be. I would have liked it to shrivel up just a little bit more. And even if I use the correct elastic and I didn't have to cut it, I still think that the measurement is just, just a touch too long for my liking. So the next time I'm gonna shorten the neckline elastic just so that it scrunches up a bit, a bit more and looks a little bit more like the pattern cover. And I'm gonna add back that inch to the pattern. I love the way it looks in double gauze and it's sort of rayon or crepe would work really well for this pattern. Another thing to keep in mind that I just remembered is that I don't have any serger threads even remotely close to this color. And what is happening is that the black serger thread that I used, it keeps folding out and you can see it. So next time I'm going to make sure I have matching serger thread, especially because I want the neckline to pull even tighter. The facing is probably going to below just a tiny bit. So make sure you have matching serger thread. Here is the neckline up close and the ties, my hooks and eyes. This top, it can get a bit cleavagey if you're not careful with the spacing and the amount of hooks and eyes you put on it. So if you want a more modest look, I would recommend probably spacing like half inch and adding another two or so, just so that it closes a bit higher. That will also help the facing not to billow as much. So maybe I should add another one to this and that will stop the black soldier thread from showing. The sleeves are not your typical straight sleeves. It's like longer at the back. I don't know if you can tell, it's longer at the back than the front. So they really have that peasant sleeve vibe. On the pattern cover, I was not sure how I felt about them to be honest, but in the double gauze, I love the way they look. I feel like every texture of this fabric is what helps it to not look so weird but i guess that is the style of the top anyway of course if you wanted to you could pull them up a little bit like so but i just leave mine down and kind of just let them do whatever it is they want to and that way the elastic is not tight on my arms at all so yes this is my seam work emmy top if any of you have used Seamwork before, what patterns would you recommend? Because I do want to try a few more of their patterns because I had such a pleasant experience with this one. So if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. 
hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and also click the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you for joining me today and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!